What's up guys, it's Manson96 here again, and today, I'm gonna start a Football Manager career mode. Yay! Uh, if you think I sound strange, it's because I'm sick. And that's why I decided to make a clip, because I'm sick and bored. But, you know, I have work, so <laughs> I won't be able to upload it anytime and record it anytime, but, you know, I will try to keep it alive. <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, sorry for that. And today we're just gonna vote on what team I should pick. Uh, I have picked out seven teams, or six, what is it, eight teams, eight teams, from these different leagues. We got, I think, two from England, one from France, one from Germany, one from Italy, one fr two from Spain, and one from Sweden. So, you got what I picked, eight teams, but you know, if there is any other team you want me to do you can vote in the comments but you know one of these six eight teams could be nice but anyways you could vote for a team from Greece if you feel like it or Austria or Belarus or South Africa you know you can vote for whatever you feel like voting for but uh, here's the, si the eight teams so you're just gonna go up here uh, as you can see I have picked four that are a bit easier and four that are a bit harder as you can see up top is the easier ones with which I see at least one that's I think a little hard is the International uh, FC because they are not as good as they used to be and their economy is not as stable as it used to be unless the update I'm using has the new owner which I do use LFC Marshalls up, you know transfer update which I will have in the link in the description <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, these are the teams I picked. I picked Manchester United, although everyone has heard of that team. Uh, Borussia Dortmund, same thing. Internationale, everyone heard about that team. Atletico Madrid, same. And then uh, Olympic Lyon, everyone's heard about that. If you remember Fred and Juninho and all those, who that when they were beasts, they even had a Swedish guy named Kim Kjellström who I also love because he's a Swede and he's amazing or was amazing then we have Granada FC uh, Portsmouth and finally Eskilstuna City which is from my hometown and the only Swedish team and the least famous team out of these eight teams but anyways if you vote for the Manchester United team what I would aim to do is you know bring back the glory win the title again or re reclaim the title and I would probably have to do it by signing a center back because you already have the left back and the midfielder in Shaw and Herrera but you would probably need a center back who can play with full Jones because I don't really trust Evans or Chris Smalling because Chris Smalling I see more as a right back and Evans I never really trusted that much <coughs> <coughs> sorry but you know since Ferdinand and Vidic have left uh, but then we have Borussia Dortmund, who is a really good team. The only fi position I think they need, you know, to get better is at left back, because I don't really. It's the same problem with Evans. They have Schmelzer, and I don't really like him. <laughs> but otherwise, they have a great team. Maybe a new striker when uh, when Lewandowski leaves. But at the same time, they have Immobile, and they signed like some other guy from Sunderland I think it was uh, anyways yeah that it would be nice you know try to challenge Dor or uh, Bayern Munich for the title and for the best club in Germany then we have Inter who I actually only coached coached once in this game and I really hated it <laughs> since you don't, don't have much money to move with or had I don't know now but I did not enjoy them because they have an old squad and you know they r need a rebuild stat. But they could be a good team trying to rebuild what Jose Mourinho had with them. Uh, then you have Atletico Madrid who is actually my favorite team in Spain. I really like them and they have a good team as well. Um, only position I see need or the only two positions I see needing strengthening is the goalie and the striker and maybe a right midfielder since Diego Costa and Courtois have both left and sorry if I slotted Courtois his name or whatever how you pronounce it but anyways I think you would need a goalkeeper 
a quality goalkeeper and then uh, and then a right mid even though Koke can play out there I rather see him in the middle with Gabi and then you have Diego Costa who sadly left but you know you should we that the striker position needs strengthening you know maybe Fernando Torres since he got the money but uh Eskilstuna City um, for you who don't know they play in Division 2 in Sweden they are really crappy in real life, but I like coaching them. I actually have a save where I'm in the year of 2033, or 2031, I think. And I'm the best team in uh, Sweden. Went through to the first round of the Champions League where he lost to Barca by one goal, which was sad. But, you know, it's a beast team. It's fun. It takes a while to build up, but they have one of my favorite talents, a guy I actually know in real life. His name is Harry Sirak and you know he's a fairly good player. I think he's two and a half rated if you scout him for Manchester United, for example. But uh, then we have Portsmouth, who I don't know r much about on FM14, except that I remember watching them as a kid when they have Crouch and the foe, or had Crouch and the foe and players like that. And I really miss them. And actually, I just found out last year that they collapsed economically and restarted. Which I thought they just got relegated, but apparently they ran out of money. <laughs> but uh, then we have Granada, who is a team I really like in Spain. I don't support them, but you know, if there's a team I hope will do well, it's Granada or every year for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, they oh they share owners with Udinese and uh, is it Wolverhampton? I think it is. No, not Wolverhampton. Uh, or oh, what are they called? Called Watford. Watford. With Watford. So you could manage to, you know, loan in a couple of players from there. Maybe try to loan in Muriel or something like that. But yeah, that team I don't know much about, sadly. But you know, I like them. So yeah, they would be nice. But uh, then we have Olympic Lyonne, who have gone through the struggle that Portsmouth did without the restart. They lost money and you know had to get rid of the highly wage players so pretty much every star from a couple years ago had left the team but they are starting to get a really good team again and it would be interesting to try to get them back to where they were and you know challenge monaco and paris saint germain for the title but th these are just few examples you know you could do bayern munich aston villa west ham swansea barcelona real madrid Milan, you know, basically any team you feel like that I should do. But anyways, you can vote in the comments, and hopefully we'll be a lot more, and I will let the voting be up for one day, so when I get back from my work tomorrow, which is this, which is about a quarter over four, and if you are in the UK, it's a quarter over three in the afternoon, and I will see what team have been voted, if any. <laughs> And I will do the team with the most votes. So, you know, just go ahead and vote. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and like and comment what team I should be.